Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today I'll cover a handful of Apple security updates. If you follow these videos regularly, you probably remember the big story last week, which was when researchers found a number of critical zero-day vulnerabilities affecting Apple's iOS operating system, or the one for iPhones and iPads. And long story short, bad guys could leverage these to actually fully take over an iPhone, and in this particular case, it seemed like a nation-state actor was using it to install install spyware on iPhones, which could, among other things, listen to your conversations. In any case, these were pretty big deal vulnerabilities, things that don't happen a lot to Apple's iPhone. Well, the news this week is these vulnerabilities also affect Apple's other platforms as well, which shouldn't be a surprise because Apple shares a lot of the components. For instance, the drive-by download flaw that affects WebKit also affects Safari, and some of the kernel elevation of privilege vulnerabilities in iOS also affect Yosemite or the OS X operating system. So today, Apple released security updates to fix these vulnerabilities in both Safari and Yosemite as well. So long story short, if you're an Apple user, you want to go get those updates as well to fix those vulnerabilities. While we're on the subject of Apple, there's a little more Apple-related security news, and that is the transmission BitTorrent client for Mac computers is yet again spreading malware. Again, if you follow my videos, you might remember earlier this year. Uh, during that time, Transmission had their website hijacked, and some bad guy uploaded a backdoored version of the Transmission installer. And again, Transmission is a popular BitTorrent client to open source one for Macintosh computers. So if you downloaded the transmission client within that particular time, you would get infected by malware, specifically some ransomware-like software that targeted Mac computers. Well, they fixed that way back in March, but it's happened yet again. If you downloaded the transmission client around August 28th timeframe, you may be getting more than you suspect. It actually may include a key logger, which might steal some of your credentials. Now, I don't know what your, your organization believes around the security of BitTorrent. Some people use BitTorrent quite a bit legitimately. In fact, it's one good way to actually download Linux distributions, for example. But there's a lot of illegal activity that happens on torrent networks, and they actually carries a lot of risk of malware on those networks as well. So you may not use torrent at all on your computer, in which case you don't have to worry about that. However, if you do use BitTorrent legitimately and you want a BitTorrent client, I think it's time to start to think about maybe using a different client than transmission. Now, granted, I've used this client myself before, and it's actually pretty decent software. I like the fact that it's created by an open source community that doesn't want to fill it with ads and all kind of crapware as well. However, the fact that they've been hijacked not once but two times shows that they may not have the time uh, to invest the necessary effort to keep this particular client and their website secure. So you may reconsider using this client in your network at all. Anyways, to summarize, if you're an Apple user, go get the OS X and Safari updates, and if you use transmission, make sure that you didn't install it during the time it was infected. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.